Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 18, and I know I got to redo this intro, especially because of different logos and stuff on it, but uh, we'll get there when we get there. All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to make this video appear on this piece of paper. Now, uh, I can't yet disclose where I got this piece of paper, but uh, it is a animated crumpled paper you can do this with a still image so like if you had a still image of one crumpled paper if you didn't want it to be so busy that is another option and it would be all the same steps so I just wanted to point that out before we get started uh, but we're gonna talk about three different ways to composite this uh, to give you kind of this believable the video is on a piece of paper kind of look so first off let's uh, hit control shift Q get a second track and put the intro on top of it uh, and there we go. Now the intro is on top, and we can do something very simple. Just go to your composite modes, and then go to multiply mask. So you just go to this hamburger menu right here, composite modes, multiply mask. And then you can look at it, and it actually does a pretty good job, a really good job of making it look like it is on paper. Now, um, kind of get right now we got that flicker and stuff but it really brings out a lot of that texture and things into the video itself now you might think oh but I want it to be um, more like rigid looking less less just kind of like it's laid over it so if you want that option then you can just go to your composite mode and go away from your multiplied mask go instead to custom mask and then select bump map and hit OK oh sorry hit add and OK and then, uh, so now this is another option too. Obviously, this very much looks like it's on paper uh, and kind of drawn look to it too. So that's this is an option. This is not what we're going for today, but it's certainly worth pointing out that this is definitely an effect someone might want to go for. Um, but what we're going to do is instead flip the input surfaces. That way the color and everything comes through and now it looks a little bit more like it's on a scroll. So this one brings a lot of the rigidness of the paper itself to it. So when you watch it um, and then we get a look at a still frame, you can really see it, it brings that actual kind of height and bump and ripple to everything. Uh, and you can change some of the settings to this. We can soften it a little bit by going to an omnidirectional style light and changing where that light comes in with this little point right here. I'm just going to drag it to the center and then um, we can change the shininess of it. I'm going to drop the shininess down just a little bit and the bump height you can bring that down or up. Um, I'm going to bring it up a little bit but not too much. Bring the shininess down a little more and we can even change like what uh, color the video is uh, informing the the composite there. So um, this is the gist of uh, ambient light here too, how much um, light is everywhere versus uh, how much it's focused. So this obviously does another great job of really importing that picture texture onto it. Um, but you might want both. Let's say you want uh, it to not look as rigid as this. So let's give it a lot watch. You want it to look as rigid and scratchy as this, but you do like that, you know, kind of organic texture look. Here's another thing we can do is a composite of a composite. All right, we're about to do composite inception here. So control shift Q and then we're going to bring this one down all the way to the bottom. All right. So first off, we need to limit where this composite's happening. So we can go to uh, this hamburger menu right here and hit Make Composite Child. Now this composite is only happening to the track below it. You can see that by the notation here. Uh, and something interesting, if you go to this hamburger menu, you're affecting what you're affecting the composite. See this custom composite there. You're affecting what it is compositing to the track below it. So what the parent track is compositing to the child track. But if you go to this composite mode, you can change what the whole parent track, this whole track is compositing below it as a whole. So if we copy this piece of paper, and let's see, I just want you to see if we uh, solo this piece of paper at the bottom, you can see nothing special is happening with this paper. And as a note, it does need to be like a white piece of paper for this to work like it's working. The uh, solo uh, lets us see that there's nothing special happening to this yet. We're going to go to this composite mode right here, and we're going to composite this bump map composite with a multiply mask composite. 
and now we've gotten we've pulling in the the shadows and the bump height and everything so now we've got a really scratchy piece of paper here so like I said it doesn't have to necessarily be an animation it can be a still frame um, but one thing I do want to note like let's grab something like this let's go back and we can change some of the settings here if we go back to the composite mode and the custom composite uh, for for this one what we can do is change some of the bump height some of the shininess there we go that makes it a little bit more believable so now that we've got the combo here uh, you can kind of make it work a little better for what you've got but look at that I mean like especially like one like this like man that really does look like it's on crumpled paper because we're both using a multiply mask and the bump height uh, change and it really just projects kind of all the all the shadows and everything of it right onto the video so that's how to make your video look like it was on a crumpled piece of paper in case you wanted to know thanks for watching like this video if you have subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one i've got a review of the new vegas coming out eventually and um yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time